Okay, this is your first day demonstration of our Layla Ali drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set this drawing up and give you some ideas on how to go about filling in the spaces that we create. And um, I'll give you uh, at the end a number of days that we need to do to complete this. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do anytime you get a project paper is in the top right, you're gonna write your name. You're gonna write art seven and you're gonna put your P and this is period one, but you're gonna put whatever number period you are. Okay, so if you're one, first put one, third, put three, fifth, put five, sixth, seventh, so forth. So this is your heading. This will be the back of the paper, okay? And this is a free space here. So if you need to practice something, the back of the paper is a good place for that um, before you do it on the front. So make sure your heading is on your paper before you flip it over. We're gonna flip this over and begin our drawing. Now, our Layla Ali drawing is a bust. A bust means that it's only the head with the shoulders. So we're gonna do the head in here. And we're gonna have the shoulders coming here. Now, whenever we do a bust, we wanna make sure that we use about three quarters of the paper that's from maybe here to here uh, for the head and then the shoulders will come down from there. So this is really simple. All you need to do, uh, and you can practice on the back your head shape, you can do a circle, you can do an oval, you can do kind of a curved triangle, any shape you want for your head. So I'm going to start not quite at the top of the paper but maybe an inch or so down. If I want more of a headdress, I'm going to shrink that size. I'm going to add, leave more space for a headdress and add my head in there. Okay, so I start with that and you see I have about maybe three inches from the top of the paper here. And then the bottom of the paper I have about three inches as well. So it's pretty much centered in the middle of my paper, my little egg head shape there. Now, I have to decide whether I want my person to be looking right at me or if I want him to be kind of turned to one side or the other. Okay, if I'm, let's say I'm gonna have him turn so he's looking off to the right of the paper. I'm gonna start with my shoulder line here, coming from the edge of the circle down to the edge of the paper. Okay, I'm gonna add my other shoulder line here. This will be more the front on the other side. And then from the bottom of the paper, I'm gonna draw to where it stops about here to show that other arm. Okay, and this kind of turns him to the side. Now, if I wanted him to be straight forward, I would just add another arm line right here, and it would make the head look straight forward. Now, this is the basic setup for your drawing. Really simple, really easy. From this point, you have to decide what goes where. Now, I showed you guys that if you wanted to Google image search Layla Ali drawings, you could. So let me go ahead and pull this up. Layla Ali drawing. Okay, I'll show you my Google search, Layla Ali drawings. This is my phone here, and I can see that when I click on view all images, that it gives me lots of good ideas. And I can see, even see here, the first, one of the first examples is a student example, okay? Now there's a little more color to this. I see here, very interesting drawing. This is a bust, a bust here as well. Okay, here's two people kissing. So I see lots of different drawings from Leila Ali as I scroll down. And I can use these for inspiration as I try to draw. Now, we talked about not copying. We do not copy in this class, but we can use parts from different people, different images to um, give a kind of feel for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this here. I really like this picture because it's very interesting lots going on here okay I see these little stick things coming out of the headdress and I like this kind of pack she's wearing there so I'm gonna include some of those designs now look at the shapes her face is kind of a circle and if I blow it up you can see more detail here the eyes are circular okay we're not worrying about the textures inside these shapes yet I'll show you how to add that in just a minute 
Um, but I really, really like what's going on here. So I'm going to start to use some of that for inspiration. Okay, so we'll start with the circle for this eye. Let's see, maybe I'll have another eye coming out here. Okay, and I like the nose. And then maybe the mouth. And I'll add the teeth in there also. I really like those teeth. So if I'm going to do my eyes similar to those, I need to add these little slits like this. Okay, and then the iris goes inside, and then the pupil goes in there. Okay, and the same thing over here. Okay, so my eyes are very similar there. I'm not going to add this little mask part though, because I really don't want that in there. Maybe I want something else. Okay, but I do like this headdress here. So if I want to add a headdress like this one, that's really easy. All I have to do is it goes up there, and it comes down here. Just like that. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back, find another one that I like. Click here. Okay, so this body type I like as well. So I'm gonna maybe add something from the shoulders like this. Coming down like that. Maybe add the arm, just like that. So I'm creating these shapes based on what I see in the drawing. So I'm going to add a little bit of hair here too because I think that hair is pretty cool. Okay, so now that I have these spaces created, I've kind of got my drawing set up from looking at different drawings, I'm going to start adding and you see if I really zoom in here you can see the lines and the, the types of lines that are repeated inside these shapes. Okay, very detailed in there, lots of repetition. Okay, so I need to kind of think of a pattern that I'm going to do. And I can look at different ones to get different ideas. Here's another one here. Okay, lots of lines that she's using. Some very interesting patterns. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell on my phone, but when you start zooming in and seeing these things, you'll start seeing these patterns are created. So what I'm going to do is, I maybe like this pattern of the head here. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to uh, subdivide this. And I'm going to add a line, and a line, and a line. Kind of breaking that shape up. Okay, and inside each of these little spaces, I'm going to do a pattern. Now, when I look at this here, I see lots of circles in here that are very close together. So I'm going to start adding those circles in. And it's important that each circle be individually drawn on here, I can tell kind of making a stack of these circles. Trying to get them all about the same size. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this and I'm just kind of going this direction with those rows of circles. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this same pattern in here. So I'm going to do more rows of circles. I'm going to do them all the way through. I'm going to do them all the way up through there. Okay, so each one of these spaces here would get that circle treatment. Whatever type I choose. So you can see the different treatments that she uses in her drawings and you can make some up yourself as well. Okay? The way you make them up is you just choose shapes and lines and you repeat them. 
It's a pattern, very simply. So if I want to do the hair, I'm just going to draw a line that follows this line very closely. Okay, same thing, next line. Make sure that that line stays parallel. Okay, so I'm going to continue these lines all the way through. Okay, and then some spaces I may want to leave blank, but you can uh, go through and look and see, uh, add things as you want to. This should be kind of spontaneous. This should be kind of, um, again, beautiful headdress here. Okay, adding parts as you go is fine. Um, but we're just concentrating on the shoulders up. Okay, we're not adding any of the bodies or anything like that. Okay, so um, I will tell you how many days you have to complete this um, in just a minute.